The different forms at the post office can be confusing. When I was younger, I had no idea why my mom was filling out these green forms for my high school applications. But now, I know the significance of why you should use these to send important documents like tax returns or legal documents. Certified mail and a return receipt can save you when you need to prove you've sent something in the first place. So what is this and what else does it do? Well, I'll walk you through what certified mail is and why you should be using it. So let's get cracking. Also known as Form 3800, certified mail is a mailing receipt that verifies that your letter or package was delivered or there was an attempted delivery. Unlike tracking numbers that let you follow your package's journey through the mail stream, you'll only be able to see if it was delivered or if there was a delivery attempt. And you'll be able to access that information for two years from that mailing date. You can add this certified mail service to first class mail, first class packages, and priority mail. So why add certified mail services to your mail? Well, letters don't have any kind of tracking whatsoever. So when you use this, you at least have some kind of tracking information for your important documents that you're sending. Plus, if you need to prove that you've sent something in the first place, you'll have this certified mail receipt on hand with the additional information of attempted deliveries. There are three additional services you can combine with certified mail. Certified mail restricted delivery, certified mail adult signature required, and certified mail adult signature restricted delivery. Certified mail restricted delivery means they'll deliver your certified mail directly to the person you're sending it to or to someone they've authorized to accept it. Certified mail adult signature required means that they'll directly deliver your certified mail only to an adult who is 21 years old or older. Certified mail adult signature restricted delivery is only available online and to commercial mailers, but it means that they'll limit the delivery of your certified mail only to that specific person or someone who is 21 years old or older who they've authorized to accept it. The other service that you can purchase and is commonly paired with certified mail is a return receipt, which is also referred to as PS Form 3811. This is handy because you'll find out who exactly received your certified mail piece. When your certified mail is delivered, the recipient or the person they've authorized to accept it must sign for it in order to receive it. A copy of that signature will then be sent to you along with the date that it was delivered. This extra information further ensures that your letter or package was delivered successfully. But what if it wasn't delivered? Well, USPS will make multiple follow-up delivery attempts to get it to the person you're sending it to. If after seven business days your certified mail doesn't show up, you can report it missing. As for refunds, if you haven't gotten your certified mail receipt or email verification within 30 days, but you know that the item you sent was successfully delivered, you can get a refund for the service fee, but not the postage that you paid. There's also no refund for certified mail service if your item was undeliverable, but a delivery was attempted. Regardless of all this, it's up to your local post office to decide whether you get a refund or not. If you're on the receiving end of certified mail and you weren't home to receive it or sign for it, you or the person you've authorized to accept it can pick it up at the post office. They'll have to present the attempted delivery slip, sign and print their name, and show ID. The only time someone else can't pick it up for you is if certified mail restricted delivery is checked off. Then you're the only one who can pick it up. Certified mail that hasn't been picked up will remain at the post office 15 calendar days after the date that you've received the attempted delivery slip. After that, it will be returned to the sender. But what if you lost your attempted delivery slip? Well, you'll have to reschedule a delivery online. Now that we know what certified mail is, let's go over how to prepare your envelope for that trip to the post office. This is the certified mail receipt form. What you need to fill out is the bottom where it says sent to. Here, write the name and address of the person you're sending this letter to. If you want to add additional services, check off the applicable boxes, but leave the fee lines blank. The post office cashier will fill in the rest. On the left side of the form, there are two sticky portions. This one on the edge is for the return receipt. So if you're adding that service, peel this off and place it in box two under article number on the return receipt. The sticky portion with the barcode goes at the top of your envelope and to the right of your address. 
line up the dotted line with the top of your envelope and stick it there. The post office cashier will rip off this portion for you to keep. Now, if you're also buying a return receipt, you'll have to fill out box 1 and 3. In box 1, under article addressed to, write the name and address of the person you're sending the letter to. In box 3, check off the box labeled certified mail and any other service you've purchased. Flip the return receipt over. In the sender box, write your name and address. When the letter is delivered and signed by the person you're sending it to, you'll get this return receipt mailed to you. You'll need to place this on the back of the envelope you're sending. If there's room on the front, then you can place it there. Peel back the two sticky portions and stick it to your envelope. And when your letter is fully prepped, go to the post office and the cashier will stamp your certified mail receipt and ring up your postage and any additional services that you've selected. And then your certified mail piece is sent off into the mail stream. But if this video helped, please give us a like. And if you're looking to learn more about shipping or to learn something completely different, be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of our how-to hub. Your next video might be right here. Well, I gotta check my forms to make sure they're filled out correctly, so I'll catch you guys later. Hmm. Well, that looks right.